I don't know. So on our way down to Paranoa Park, we have pulled in for to stay at the Rotary. It's a Rotary Park. It's a donation park just out of Babinda. We pulled up, took the van off the car as we normally do, and as we're winding the jockey wheel back down to level up, it uh, decided to fall apart on us. So it's all come crashing down into a big heap. But yeah, so turns out that this is the thread that's meant to go inside of this, which clearly is not, and this is not meant to do that. Anyway, so. I contacted the uh, guys at Boss because I absolutely love this thing. But yeah, so I contacted them. Shout out to those guys. They're going to send us out a new one. Um, yeah, so that was nice and easy. Sent them a few photos and they're sending us out a new one. But yeah, so we had to run into Innisfail and picked up one of these ones. Picked up the old Alco Sidewinder just so we can get the car back on to the van back up onto the car so we can move off but yeah not something that we wanted to do but what do you do part of a uh, living on the road yeah, so that's where we're at with that and yeah, now we're gonna explore a bit of Babinda and some of the places around the area so we've just come down from camp uh, to have a look at Eddie Bay and it's absolutely beautiful here and we've come across the resident cassowary over here but no don't feed the bloody cassowaries I don't know where he's got this bag of bread from, but don't feed the cassowaries. Super cool birds, but they still scare the living crap out of me. So that's about as close as I'm going to get with that one. So yeah, so that's uh, that's our second spotting up here, which is kind of cool. The other one being at the Daintree. But yeah, what a magic place this is. Just um, just out of Lucinda is about 15k out of Lucinda, Eddie Beach, and bloody spectacular. Lots and lots of people down here, but so another place don't expect to come down here and be all by yourself. But yeah, you got the hills rolling into the water. There's flags up for those of you who want to go swimming in North Queensland. There's your opportunity, but there is lifeguards and there's a cafe over the back. So even though we have just cooked lunch and we cooked up some noodles, the boys have come back with these. Mmm, yummy, yummy. That's so good. Oh, yeah. I know we're going broke. Anyway, they're um, not bad chips, actually, from the Eddie Bay Cafe. So, a little hot tip if you want to come for some semi-decent hot chips. Down here's your choice. All right, we're going to uh, continue on. While there is a little bit of sunshine, we are going to go and explore a little bit more, I think. I don't know if the sunshine's going to last very long, but... We'll see. to camp we decided to drop up to Josephine Falls which we've been told by a few people is well and truly worth coming in and checking out so it is as you can see a 700 meter walk from the car park um, so far it's all tarred which makes for good walking but yeah anyway we'll get in there and have a look it is meant to be pretty specky so and you, you can um, you can swim there as well we aren't because the weather is bloody miserable as usual but you can swim there oh, check this bloody place out all right what a rough and spot no walking there was that big too but check this out
out uh, natural water slides and well, not there. This place is absolutely stunning, so I highly recommend coming in and checking his. But yeah, I think the boys are going to go for a swim. So they can have that one all on their own. But the boys are getting, the boys are going in. They're, um, they can't pass up the rock slide without giving it a hit. So. Oh, you got a catfish? Yeah. You want to get your toes? Uh, oh. Get in there, boys. <laughs> To be fair, we are a different place. Righto, send the boys. <laughs> Yeah, big kick of approval from the boys. So, yeah. And back yeah, from all the girls, we are back to mine. So. Yeah. Yeah, so put uh, Joe's Smith Walls on your list of things to do. So we've um, decided we're going to hang out for another day so the kids can go and have a hang back at um, Joe's Smith Falls, but we're going to be low on water, so the toilet box got a potable water tap and Gonna run water straight out of that. Fill the uh, fill the truck up. We got 70 liters on that at a time, so I'll fill it up and then I'll go and pump it straight back into the van. Um, you got the water pump up in there, so pump it straight out into the van and should be good to go for another few days. Because we uh, used it pretty hard before we come and didn't realize we we're gonna stay for so long, so. You know, yeah, pretty simple process, but that's one way we keep water in the van. So after a pretty slow morning, we've um, got up, we had some, well, we didn't get out of bed till nine o'clock. Mama Bear was a bit tired. Actually, no, we both were. <coughs> um, and what did we do? We went we and had, had some brekkie. While we put the laundry on, because. We yeah. have had a week of overcast and on and off rain. Bloody miserable weather. Our solar is really low and we needed to do some washing. Yeah, so we went and done laundry, had some breakfast. Did you lock the car? Didn't lock the car. So we're walking away from the car. Yeah. Anyway, so we come into the infamous Babinda Boulders. Um, just come up here to have a look. Us and three quarters of North Queensland by the look of it. Oh yeah, we'll get down there and we'll give you a look at the boulders and then we're heading back up to Josephine Falls to I think we're gonna have a slide as well as the boys this time so yeah there's that's some it. pretty good facilities around here nice car park with toilets and paths so yeah so that's our agenda for this morning right now we'll get in and show you we've been to boulders so we are lost already well not really there's um just straight behind us right at the car park there is a little lookout but yeah we're going up to the Boulders Gorge. Look out, have a look. Yeah. Got a little 600 metre walk. We're obviously, going to be through some. Look at these. How good are fungi? Mm -hmm. I don't know, is it just me? Ooh, yeah, here's shiny. Some yeah, I'm like a bow bird when it comes to buddy. I'm like a bow bird when it comes to fungi. Yeah, I don't know, they just look cool. Anyway, yeah, so we're going up to the Boulders Gorge lookout. Not bloody bad. 
This is the uh, Babinda Boulders Gorge lookout. Pretty, pretty impressive. A few people out here, so I won't uh, film around them for too long, but yeah. Just near the car park is the car park just behind us is the swimming hole and whatnot where you can come down and have a swim. Check this, it looks pretty bloody magnificent. What a another stunning North Queensland swimming hole. There, um, yeah, there's no shortage of them up here, that's for sure. This would be the perfect place for a draw. Oh, cool. How's the water, man? Ah, uh, cold. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you yeah, throw a bin of boulders on you. These are the things to do as you're passing up through North Queensland. But it's definitely worth the little walk in here. Everything's nice and close, and got a little park for the kids and toilets and whatnot, so, yeah, it's very cool. Anyway, now the boys want to get back into Josephine Falls for a slide, so let's go. Some bloody place Josephine Falls is. Um, there's one of those places that you don't really expect anything. It turns out to be probably one of the better places we've visited so far. So yeah, just a just an example. Get out and explore everything. You never know what you're going to come across. You anyway, know, we're going to get back to camp, and I've got a couple of little things to fix up and sort out before we head off tomorrow. But and see where these batteries are at because there's been no sun again today. But there's anyway. Dean no sun. Hey. There's Dean no sun. Dean knows, son. <laughs> That's what it sounded like you said.